Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner, Daniel Grasshopper Way. His opponent, the coach, Seen Saliba! Main event of the evening. This fight is brought to you by Juice Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Melbourne Pavilion. Everybody watching on Go Fight Live, are you ready? Melbourne Pavilion, here we go. Five by five minute rounds in the MMA middleweight division. They will be fighting for the AFC middleweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a striker standing six feet, three inches tall with an official weight of 84.4 kilograms. A record of nine fights, six wins. Training out of Pride FC and Extreme MMA. Representing Namurka, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel the Grasshopper. Big ovation for the grasshopper. Then across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's a freestyle fighter, standing six feet, one inch tall. An official weight, 83.6 kilograms. A perfect pro record. Four fights, four wins, 
representing TP Gym out of Sydney, New South Wales, he is the coach, Zane Saliba! This is going to be, once again, Australian Fighting Championship. Middle weight title is on the line. Welcome here to the Melbourne Pavilion. Matt Pilios with John O'Arman and Josh Warner for this co-main event of AFC 12 in the cage in Melbourne, welcoming all viewers on Go Fight Live. Referee Christian, final instructions to the fighters. We're about to crown a new AFC middleweight champion. Here we go. We have the, the start of round number one of five. If it goes that far, Daniel Way claiming center of the cage very early on. Oh, oh cops are nice. That took from Zane Saliba. Zane immediately trying to clinch, looking to get the fight to the ground. Let's have a look at uh, Ways for Zeke. He's at probably at least six or seven kilos on Jono in the last 24 hours. He weighs at least in the 90s. He's a big, big boy for a middleweight. He had a really tough weight cut, Daniel Way, so I'm hoping that he's uh, rehydrated well. He looks like he's in pretty good condition right now. Hopefully won't be an impact on him in this fight. You know, one thing with Daniel Way as well, obviously coming from a massive Muay Thai background, still learning and still gaining his knowledge in the mixed martial arts, wrestling, jiu-jitsu area. He's actually very hard to get on the ground. Um, so I'm sure there's going to be maybe times in this fight Zine gets him on the ground, but he's going to have to work and earn it. He's been doing a lot of work at Byron Bay MMA. He's actually uh, coaching Muay Thai at the moment, but working with Daniel Jacare Almedia. So his jiu-jitsu is definitely improving. And uh, great uh, defense against a guy like Saliba who's fresh and uh, could, you know, potentially get an early take, and he's really defended this well. You know, great thing about it as well, I love about Grasshopper. In the AFC, he's been thrown test after test. Can he jump in, last minute fight, all that sort of thing. And not only does he put his hand up, he ends up surprising everyone and uh, going, yep, I'll take that and I'll do it, but I'm not just rocking up to fill in the card, I'm here to win. He's got a big test today though. Uh, we've seen Saliba, this is going, definitely going to be his hardest test, but uh, if anyone can do it, the grasshopper can. Daniel defending really well so far. Referee Christian separated. Interesting given that Zane was gone for a single leg, but the crowd seems to applaud the fact that they're back in striking range. Now for folks at home, if you want to see why the grasshopper is called the grasshopper, just watch him bounce oh! around the page as he cops a nice right, right hand hook. by Zane Saliba. And Saliba just nods her heads and says, come at me again. Daniel's got to use his footwork. I've got to cut his ankles. Don't let Zane get hold of him. Nice little kick. kick. Oh, punch, punch combination by Daniel the Grasshopper. Away as both boys clinch up in the center of the cage again. Good knee, Grasshopper. Daniel separates. Good tactics. Very good, Daniel Way so far. Oh, another right hand. To me, Grasshopper Down. looks a bit nervous, and it is a title fight. It just doesn't look as clean with his hands as he generally is, John. Yeah, normally he's a lot uh, He's a lot more rangy. He uses his range a lot Correct. better. Powers up with the right hand. He's trying to fight, fire the punches in too short, which is allowing Zane to get that, those counters that we've seen. Zane's already hit him a couple of times with the left and the right hooks. This is Zane's territory right now, though. In Daniel Way's full guard. He'll look to work his submissions from here. Right now, there's a few soften up punches, a couple of rib shots, we'll drop the odd elbow, waiting for an opening to occur. Josh, would you say Zane as well? He appears to be, he's a very patient fighter. Oh, of course, that comes from experience, ultimate fighter experience, TP fight team, Treco, black belt, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. These are the sort of guys that help you to not only create your technique in mixed martial arts, but the behavioral side of that, your, your, sorry, your arm. Um, maintaining your nerves in title fights, but then also your patience. That's what he's doing right now. He's looking for his openings. It's so far picking him apart. For folks at home, this is uh, one of our first of our two title fights tonight, so this is five by five minute rounds and is scheduled for if it goes that far. Daniel locked up against the cage. He says, no, nowhere he can really go. Zane's free to work his submission game, but also drop those elbows and forearms. It's going to soften Daniel up even more. And some good body shots there by Saliba. Referee Chris Shen having a good look at it again. Zane's being active enough right now to keep the fight on the ground. And the perfect start, he would have played this in his mind and thought, you know what, I don't want to be standing for two, three or four minutes with uh, Daniel Grass on the way while he's fresh. He's got a great high advantage, very good Muay Thai. This is the dream start that Zane Saliba wanted. Oh, Daniel Way is cut open over the right eye. That was an elbow, I think, a crossing elbow. But, you know, one great thing about Daniel Way, as I said, having a strong Muay Thai background, he's big cut. Any time before, it won't bother him. Zane Sleeve would obviously be aware that, that Daniel did miss weight in the range yesterday and he had to cut again and he was quite exhausted. So he'll look to employ that exhausting grappling style to take all the energy out of Daniel Wade, pick him apart easily in the later rounds. 
Zin Saliba doing a fantastic job here on the, in the dominant position on the ground as he just continues to go to work, softening him up, softening up Daniel Way, attempting to probably keep striking to that cut. Our referee Chris Shen having a good look at that cut. But as it's, the blood is not running into the eye, poses no danger, so he will allow this fight to continue. Daniel Way really needs to get back to his feet. It's a target, though, for Zane. It's a target right now. Well, one thing, Zane's obviously proven already, even on the feet, he can strike and land him on Daniel Way. But uh, this is, as you said, Josh Warner, this is uh, Zane's level 101. This is where he wants to be in this fight right now. I think he got Daniel's respect with a few strikes early on, but the ground game is always where he's going to dominate. Daniel Way attempting to get up. Great work by the grasshopper. Oh, As both boys punch on. This is. Oh, oh, oh. Big man punch. Z Saliba now out of striking. That's the right end for round what number one. What a great Mason end to this first round of the UFC. Yeah. Middleweight title here. Proudly this is MMA in the game. A great sponsor, Juice Plus. And they don't sell juices, boys. They sell a lot more. They sell the latest. Uh, they're online, company, pre-workout. We are live on GFL. Go fight live drinks. around the world. And uh, Jono, uh, I know you know Daniel well. He does look uh, a little bit more hurt than he wanted to be. First round after this uh, great start. I'm just having a look at his eyes. The his team and the doctor went to work on his eyes. I actually don't think, looking at it, it's I not the cut that's so bad. It's only a little bit. He has got a bit of a mouse yeah, spine coming off that right eye. Surprise to us all. I'm really impressed. We've seen Saliba's uh, handwork and striking skills. He's actually, uh, I would say, he actually outstruck uh, Daniel Wayne in that round. How many times have we seen guys implement game plans we weren't expecting tonight? Johnny Baruni got the take one. Saliba's out. come out and he's actually outstruck the high caliber Muay Thai fighter in the first round and also the dominant ground control. So Daniel Wayne's got, got a fight in his hands here, let me tell you. I can definitely say Daniel Wade to open up this round if I was giving him advice. Put the jab out there, find your range, and let's go to chopping the leg. Let's slow down, let, let's take away some of that explosive in the low ground game and the lower end uh, that seems to be possessed. There he goes for the inside thigh kick. Agree, all together. Arman, use the height and reach advantage that he's got. R round number two, and uh, Oregon Saliba looks in uh, very good physical condition compared to what we've seen him in other years. I think since he's had that six weeks in Canada with the UFC and his camps afterwards, he's come back in really good shape too. And Zane, it's showing. Zane just looks like he's, he's comfortable. Like Daniel's jumping around, a lot of nervous energy. Look at that. that that's what Daniel does, though, uh, normally. That's why they call him the grasshopper. He loves to jump around. <laughs> though it is very unorthodox, uh, he, he, he does that. Zane, uh, Zane just looks a little bit more grounded right now. He looks more settled in his fight right now. Uh, Dan's hands just a little bit lower than they oh, should be. Okay. See, and again, he lets another left slip in. Oh, good knee by Daniel Way, though. This, this, is one thing, this is one position where Daniel Way wouldn't mind being in the uh, Muay Thai clinch, but quickly getting out of there as Zane Saliba attempted the body lock. Well, the clinch is dangerous because it gives Zane an out to get the fight back down to the ground. So as much as Daniel would enjoy the Muay Thai clinch for the knees, it opens a big risk Absolutely. up when it comes to having the fight being back on his back again. Absolutely. Grasshopper landing a bit of offence to start this second round. Looking oh. for the big leg kick. Nicely checked Good there check. by Zane Saliba. Great check, Zane Saliba. Daniel throwing really wide, loose hooks. Saliba looks very comfortable though, you're right. He he hands up. I'm really liking the boxing skills here of Zin Saliba. He's now not just not his off not just his offense, but his defense. He's slipping and, and coming back from the counters. Slip and move, come back in the jab, the jab two, right hooks. As oh. he picks him up, oh. the big slam into the canvas. Big slam. Daniel Way's head bounced off the back of the mat there. And Zayn immediately in the side control once again. And, uh, that was sensational. Great slam there by Saliba. And probably gets him back into uh, the favouritism for the points on the judges' scorecards in this second as we hit about two minutes in this championship middleweight title for AFC it is. Jeez, I'll tell you what, Josh and Matty P, haven't we seen some slams tonight? But Daniel's got to work his jits now, though. He can't afford to stay on his back again and be two rounds down in this fight. So he's got uh, half guard now, but he's got, to, he's got to just manoeuvre himself a bit more, pivot the hips, try and give himself some space. Then explode out, get back onto the feet, start to use some of that movie time. 100%, yeah. This is not where Daniel wants to be. This is Zane Saliba 101. This is where Zane loves to be down. You know, as you can see him now, softening up the body, going to the head, body, head, attempting submission, and also just grinding, uh, grinding Daniel way down. This, this is a carbon copy of how he finished um, Maui Tugamara in his last fight. He was in half guard yep. for a long time. He ended up working out, getting the arm triangle, and putting him to sleep on that occasion. So Daniel, hopefully, I'm presuming, would have seen that. Have a look at some videos before the fight. He's got to be aware that this is the very dangerous position to be in right now. Well, Daniel Way proved in the last round uh, that he can 
uh, get back uh, onto his feet. He can get out of these positions. Obviously, the bell beat him in that last round, but he needs to do it again. He needs to do it early. He needs to get on his feet. Absolutely. Saliba so training with these black belts on a daily basis. Black belt uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu artists. He's just going to have uh, be so comfortable here. I mean, way as Jono said, a great Muay Thai fighter and probably a good to very good sort of grappler. So, uh, you know, Saliba a lot more advanced. Oh, no doubt. I mean, this is Zane's territory. We've said a number of times now. So this is exactly where Zane wants to be. And he'll be this for five rounds. So uh, very comfortable. Daniel now has got to find a way to get out of this predicament and then use some of his strengths, the striking, and really tight. Landed a good right elbow there, uh, Grasshopper, but uh, Saliba counters with two good right ones to the ribs. You know, this fight as well for both of these fighters is a bit career defining. Zane Saliba, the man of the experience in a sense, you know, and a flawless record, 5 and 0. Fought at a very high level, though. And even though he's only had five fights, he's fought at a very, very high level. He doesn't want to lose to a guy like Daniel Way, a Muay Thai guy, coming into uh, MMA, having a few fights. Uh, but Daniel Way, he's a man on a mission. Uh, he's fought, he's already fought some top guys himself, and he wants to keep progressing forward, but he needs to be able to take out guys like Zane Saliba. So both fighters have a lot on the line tonight, as well as trying to take out this AFC middleweight title. Uh, well said, John O'Armand. Back to the action, we continue to see Zane Saliba just dominating on the ground. Daniel throwing some really good elbows. He's staying busy on his back. He's staying he? busy, but the judges' perspective, they're usually going to favour the guy on top. So once again, Zane Saliba pretty much dominating. Look at Saliba. Josh, if you're in uh, Daniel Way's corner, would you advise him to move into the centre of the cage or up back towards the fence? Well, against the fence, have the wrist, but it gives you the chance to wall walk. So we could actually push off, use those long legs, push Dane off on the thighs and get back up. In the centre of the cage, he, of course, doesn't have the cage to work against him, but at the same time, he's completely in Zane's territory. So right now, he's just got to find a way to get up. Or, alternatively, hold him so referee Chris then stands him up for an activity. Definitely right there, Saliba. Staying busy. He's right here now. He's got to push off now. This is where he needs oh, to get up. Oh, big nice shot haymaker. and side control. Nice haymaker throw down as both boys get up once again towards the end of the round. Oh, they got to bang it out for the end of the second round. Here comes Daniel Way. The tie clinch into the grapple in the knees. Swinging oh, a spinning oh, elbow. The big haymakers. Oh, what an end, end to that second round, round ladies and gentlemen. Second round. I feel both now rounds of this point have ended so uh, very, very explosive. Yeah. Yes. We need, and uh, Jono, uh, this is the excitement there, Jono, that last three seconds. That's the most exciting I've ever seen you for a long time. Well, I love it when the boy starts slinging the elbow, so swinging for defense, the fence, the tie clinch, banging the body, grass. banging the head. Both boys the swinging and going for it. They way. both want to get the Good strap coach. around their waist and get this fight. And though at this stage, old Colby leaning towards Zane Saliba, taking out both rounds on our judges' scorecard, unofficially, of course. Daniel Way really needs to pick up the work rate in the third round. Yeah, we suggest that Zane Saliba's two rounds zero up now, so Daniel yeah. needs to win the next three or stop him. If I was Rob Pride right now, I'd be saying, Cut your angles, use your reach advantage. As Jono said, stick your arm out there, throw the jab, mix your punches up, use your leg kick, use your front kick even, but keep the fight standing. You cannot afford to be on his back Second again down. early in round three. The beauty about Hart Crosshopper is he's, uh, he's got the, fit, um, the stand up body to actually knock out. He's still fresh and he's still very dangerous. So Saliba, if he walks into a couple of knees or a couple of punches from Grasshopper, he could go down and see alarm bells. So we're just saying that there's a lot of water there in the cage. But yeah, let's. Uh, Corner's got to really fix it up and be quick about that. Yeah, that's Time is called. That's a lot of work. Let's talk about uh, Saliba's stand up, which has actually caused Grasshopper to be taken down because of that, that offense and that stand up, the way he started both the first and second rounds, has probably surprised everybody here. Very, very impressed with his hands. Very impressed with seeing Saliba stand up, to be honest. Uh, he's doing a fantastic job against the caliber of uh, Daniel Way. As Daniel Way starts off early, the slapping left hook, left inside thigh kick, trying to come forward, find his range. This is what Daniel Way needs to do. Zane Saliba staying very calm, cool, collected. You've got to be careful with the strikes. The kicks run a risk of getting caught, take it down. So probably use more of the punches right now. Mix them up, use your jab definitely. Just be careful because as soon as Zane gets an opening, then we'll get his one back down to the mat. I'd like to see Daniel Way go low to the leg. Uh, just start chopping away that lead front leg. That's something he does so well, but he's just not doing it at this stage. I think he's intimidated a little bit by the strike. He's not intimidated by the yeah, overhands, yeah. Principle, Surprise as well. Surprise is probably the better word, yeah. He's oh, no, nice stiff jab there from Zane Saliba, rocking the head back of Daniel Way. And the fourth or fifth time he's done that so far tonight. Daniel can't find his range right now, and that's the issue. With his, see, again, he's about two inches short every time he throws that left hook. Given he's got a reach advantage, that's very surprising. Absolutely, again, going short. for the left hooks and once again pulling up short. And let's, let's compliment the footwork of Saliba as well. Very improved stand up. So Saliba last wearing of years. a couple of jabs. That's better from Daniel Way. I'd, I'd go move back to the stand of punching. Just use 
Left jab, right cross, find the range. Both boys exchanging jabs. Here we go up against the fence, oh, exchanging hurting. a bit of a scrap. I think, I think he's, he's rocked him. him. Has he rocked him? Yeah. Can he capitalise? Yes, yeah, Saliba did look a bit hurt there. Landed one or two of his own, but definitely walked into a good hook. Now, Daniel Wayne, not such a bad position here. He has got Gabe, one on the hook, Gabe which is going to make it a bit harder for Saliba to get him on the ground. But he's going to lift him and slap him again. Down he he's goes. That. Down he goes. <laughs> and once again, big trouble for Daniel Wayne. He's got back in the full guard, but again, he's got to work his position now. He's against the cage, so he can try to cage walk. He's just got to open up that guard, push off Saliba's size, get himself some distance in between body, and get back up as quick as he can. Well, I, know, I know it's hard work to do, and we're getting into the third round now, so both fighters aren't going to be tired, sweaty, and slippery. But Daniel Way's proved he can get out of these positions. He just needs to do it earlier. I think this, uh, this takedown might have crushed the spirit just a little bit of Daniel Way, though. Third round in a row, uh, black Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and. Uh, now, Way's more known for his stand-up, so all of a sudden, he just thinks to himself, from a mental point of view, you know, I'm 2-0 down, and all of a sudden, I'm on my back against a, a black belt. Oh, spot on. Spirit's a big thing in fighters, and his spirit can be broken very quickly. Right now, unless he can improve position, he's looking at duck at three, and that's not a good position to be in a title fight. But has all that knockout power potential that he's seen, and I say that in respect for Way. Grasshopper's the sort of guy who can throw that flying knee and knock you out. He's got more diversity in his striking, no doubt, so the likelihood of a flash knockout certainly exists this for Daniel Wade. But right now, he can't get close enough. He's two, three inches short every time he's throwing his punches. He's got to get his range and cut his angles and get back into this fight. And as I said, Matty Pilly, I was just looking at uh, the work that uh, Saliba is doing at this stage. She's just breaking uh, Daniel Way down, just wearing him down. Shots of the body, body, head, head, body, just constant work. Uh, the, these punches that for our viewers at home who may not be as experienced in the mixed martial arts realm, these punches may not be heavy and hard, but you keep wearing them, you keep copping them all Big the time. Point. It's going to break and wear you down. It's going to start to sting after As a while. As importantly, they score points. And right now, points is what Zane Saliba is. And just a different level of ground game uh, Zane Saliba has oh, on no Daniel. Doubt. And you're just seeing it at the moment. This was always going to be the story of the uh, the tactics. If Saliba can just wear him down, he's got that. Wait for this. This is exactly how he finished his last fight. He's going to try. He's got the one arm around, set the arm triangle up. He gets out of full, uh, out of half guard. This could be a big problem for Daniel Wade. Great to have Josh Warner, our Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu expert, down here, Kate, trying to commentary position. As once again, Zin Saliba goes back to this is, this trying is a to good move him up. Now. Oh, he had it. So he tried to get the butterflies in. He did. Unfortunately, missed the butterflies. He's got to try it again. Get a butterfly, at least get one foot on his thigh and push off as hard as he can. He's got these massive legs right now. This is his chance. That's what. That's better way from Daniel Wade. He needs to get up to his feet. Second can Wade get up? Second up kick rattled Saliba. Got him right on the chin. Oh, but Zane Saliba's grappling is far too good right now, though. Treko yelling out instructions and look down again. This time, though, in back control. So he could look to mount the back here, start working the rear naked choke. Daniel Wade wisely, though, gets himself against the cage. Cuts off that prospect. Yeah, that, that's actually really good work. Just seeing that from Zane Saliba, he actually copped a pretty decent uh, up kick up on kick. the second one way out. But not just that, to get Daniel Way's back and to force him on the ground out the way uh, that he did, because Daniel Way is a big middleweight. Oh, He's okay, a yeah. big, tall, heavy middleweight. And you get him down like that, that's very impressive. No doubt Saliba's physical presence has really improved at another level the last 18 months. Looking good at the moment, looking fresh late in this third round of the AFC middleweight championship here. AFC 12, it is in Melbourne. Daniel Wade done well, tried to rotate the position and the first of big knees. Can't get that knee caught though. That's one thing I am saying that. Yes, you're right, Josh Warren doesn't want to get that knee caught, but at the same time, he's got very powerful and heavy knees. And these are just a few little things that after all the good work Zane Saliba's done, he just doesn't want to cop those knees. 10 seconds. Oh, Another great, great take down. down. Just confirming the third round dominance. That's in the round number three. Daniel Way right now looking at 0-3. Yeah. Needs to do something different. Rob Pride has a huge job now, trying to tactically identify where Daniel Way can get back into this fight. All right, gentlemen, here we go. Manny Pilios, you're in the corner of Zane Saliba. What advice would you be giving, giving him if anything different at all? No, not much different. I'd just be saying be a little bit careful of the, the stand-up early in the round and uh, keep uh, doing his exact game plan. If the season opening for a takedown, just continue with it and use that experience. Daniel Way looks very tired in his corner right now. I think one thing as well as we saw in a couple of our previous fights, you're right, he is a lot more tired in his corner.
this round, get out, you're probably going to know, you know, down three, you're down uh, three, three rounds in the car. Uh, this round, get out, surf the points, and more going uh, vertically in and out, move all lateral on your feet, suck in the deep breaths, and make those shots count. Start attacking the legs, attacking the face, and making them count, not just spraying them out there, and getting caught on the counter. Uh, spot on, if you're starting to gas, you've got to make the most out of every punch you're thinking you can throw. So right now, to choose more carefully, make sure it doesn't play in the same hands. Basically been doing for the direction of Let's be honest, Super. 13 out of the 15 rounds, Saliba's basically been on Round top four! Of the show. Pretty he much. Round four, championship round. Here we go. Down to penultimate round. Uh, Daniel Way starting out the jab two, missing the mark. Oh, hook. the hooks. But uh, Zane Saliba's uh, head work. So you've got to push off. You've got to push off now. That's better from Daniel Way. See, again, Zane is looking for that big takedown. Yeah. Daniel's. Taken down again. Beautiful. Unfortunately, Zane Saleb is just far too good with his takedowns right now. Real good, isn't he? And, and just feels uh, like he's really strong at the moment. And I thought that grass on the size may be an issue, but Saleb has come out in great physical condition. Now, Zane's implemented his game plan. This is Bernardo Trepo 101. This is TP 15 right now. The fans may not appreciate the fact that there's no you know, glorified knockouts and big punches, but this is mixed martial arts, and right now, Zane Saleb is putting on a dead set class in relation to effective wrestling grappling. Just uh, Danny Way getting a warning from our referee, Chris Shen, not to grab the fences uh, for our viewers at home. You can push off the fence, you can use the fence to your advantage, but you cannot grab onto the fence or throw your arm over the top railing. I'd try something different here if I was Danny Way. He's tried really gallantly in the first three rounds to improve position. Right now, I'd be grabbing the back of Zane's head, holding him down against my chest, and waiting for Chris Shen to stand this one up. It's probably not a bad tactic, actually, uh, Josh, because uh, obviously the, the, the best times where Daniel's been most effective is on his feet. He did get that uh, early on, the first round, I think it was, where he just held on to Zane. Yep. And was able to get to stand back up. But Zane just chipping away head, body, body, head, just looking for all these little things. He's going to score points and being in the dominant position as he is, I think he's going to keep racking them up. You can't improve position, you're better off just locking down. And right now, as much as Daniel's trying, he can't improve that position. Do you think it's well tactically uh, for maybe uh, Saliba to maybe go for a submission win rather than um, keep chipping away at these little strikes? He doesn't seem to be trying to find a submission. He's always looking for the arm. So again, he's got the arm triangle starting to set it up. He's got one arm around the neck. He'll try to slide his left arm in under Daniel Way's right arm when he gets a chance. And then he'll get out of oh. half guard in the side control, arm triangle complete. But he's not really trying that effectively to get it done. I think it's pretty happy right now. He's pounding out a, a comfortable decision. I was about to say, almost on song you called that, but then he decided to go back to uh, chipping away with the punches to the body and the body in the head. Yeah, they're making it, it's hitting its mark, so again on the chin there. Medium probably power, but uh, still uh, five or six of those in a row uh, are going to start hurting in round number four. And points, points, is building up for Zane Saliba. Wow, and referee well, was busy. Surprisingly decided, Josh, your opinion? Stand up. Oh, think that, that was the crowd stand up right there. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> doubt, Chrissy Shen, he loves the crowd. Daniel yeah. Ways. Oh, the flying knee. And this, he's this, got to split. Split now. Separate. This gives Saliba. Trying to separate, but just can't get off him. Just, just relentless. That's not that as good as he's had the other ones, though. No, but he's going to get it here. He's got his arms locked. He's got his arms locked in nice. He's right hand under it. nearly. That's, yep. that's a good underhook for Daniel Wade. Yeah, he's done give well. him some leverage, but still. Oh, he's got him down, and, and that has been that position. the story of this AFC middleweight title. Zane Saliba again all over Daniel Way. As Daniel goes back into the full guard position. Zane at the moment again. A couple of little shoulder thrusts. Another little warning for Christian to Daniel Way not to grab the fence. Both boys go Good to work. Just from the bottom by Daniel Way. <laughs> yeah, Way is start, staying very busy there at the bottom of the cage. Exactly what he needed. Remember those rock'em, sock'em robots, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and Zane Saliba Good really busy. With Zane Saliba. About five or six right hands to the ribs there. Look, Get, gets him away from the cage also. Looks yeah, pretty awesome. comfortable here, though. In, again, in full guard, but open guard. No real threat of any submissions being thrown up by Daniel Way at the moment. So Zane quite comfortable in this position. It also takes uh, the air out of the lungs when just constantly oh, yeah. taking these little shots of the body. And uh, Saliba staying real busy. Oh, good left oh, hand by couple left hands. Hand. It's up. rock 'em sock 'em robot time. <laughs> and a great, a great by both fighters staying busy. Both uh, Daniel Way on the bottom, but Saliba on the top as well. Just getting a good oh, look. Oh, elbows, at, big elbows. Look, just looking at a, the cut over Daniel Way's right eye. It seems to have opened up. It uh, swelled up a lot. More. And opening up, that's something probably a target. Just little things that uh, Saliba can just keep chipping away to. No doubt at all. Once this again. is. 
a great performance by Zane Salibi, guys. 80% of this fight he has kept Daniel Way off his feet. And this is a remarkable strategy by him uh, to actually implement it perfectly. He has. This is the perfect game plan, perfectly implemented by a really, really thoroughly well-deserving mixed martial artist right now. You know, and he's a guy, too, who wants to have one more last crack at the UFC. He sees Daniel Kelly. He sees guys on Victory Ruth, both older than him, Again, having some back. success in the UFC. Daniel Way's given up his back with 10 seconds to go. We always finish on our feet, though. Three times. We always finish on our feet. Are we going to get another scrap? No, oh, not a big haymaker oh, elbows. Right, a great final round number four. The AFC middleweight title on the line. That is another Zane Saliba round in my book. I've got a four of those now. And absolutely no turning backstage This one's going to the fifth and final round. He's got to find a submission. Otherwise, Zane Saliba is leaving AFC 12 as our brand new middleweight champion. And what an AFC middleweight champion he will be. Uh, five like minutes time, I'm more than confident we'll have him as our middleweight champion. But, Jono, Daniel Grasshopper, I reckon, still, still has one more knockout, two man punch, flying knee in it. Well, let's just quickly go back over Daniel Grasshopper's history. Bro. He was thrown up against uh, our light uh, uh, heavyweight, Media. Daniel Almeida. No one gave him a chance. He knocked him out cold. Then he was thrown up against. Uh, Oh, I'm trying to think of his name right now. And the last time Steve he had Kennedy. Seen, and he Steve Kennedy. Kennedy Muir. He gave Steve Kennedy the fight of a lifetime. He was thrown up against Joe Muir. Everyone said Joe Muir was going to destroy him. Out. What happened? Yeah. It was the upset of the night. He absolutely took apart. That is tore apart Joe Muir. That's one of the best fights I've seen. Oh, that was a great stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Way's Lawrence got it in him. He's got it dig deeper than he has ever done before. Because right now, Zane Saliba is well and truly up on the card. But Zane is not going to want to do it. He's going to want to stay final round for this fifth and final round. AFC middleweight title on the line. Welcome here. Daniel Way started the way he should. Keep this is much, absolutely, this is oh, much better. Oh, caught. Saliba. He's throwing that little punchy that oh, oh, crossing over. Has he rocked him? No, no. just missed it. Zane says, nice one though, pal. <laughs> well played indeed. This is better by Daniel Way now. Yeah. He's got to keep the distance. It's going to be harder for Zane to take him down and more sweat now. His, his arms are a lot more tired now, 20 minutes in. No doubt at all. But this is one thing as well from uh, Saliba's point of view. Don't get sucked into a game of pride where yeah, I can match it with the striking contest of you. You've done all the right things. So oh. Oh, big haymaker from Daniel Way. You do not want to get caught now in the fifth and final round. We nearly knocked him over with that. That was huge. Daniel Way doing a better job. Picking his shots That's a lot right. better. And it's keeping his distance, light in his feet. Nice yeah, you're right. He's a younger fighter, light in his feet, and just finishing uh, really well against the Sleevers. That jab was, had a lot of gusto hey, still in it. He's still got plenty of power there, don't get me wrong. If he lands one... Nice little kick again, you know. Oh, I think he's hurt. I think he's chopped his leg a little bit. Uh, Sleever may not yeah. be as conditioned. Bit, bit purple inside there, so he's definitely cut him up a little bit. You know, folks, as well, Matty and uh, Josh, it's the kicks that you don't hear. They're the ones that hurt oh, yeah. the most. The ones that dig that shin deep deep into the thigh muscle. And Zane, uh, you know, hands are a little bit lower than I saw oh, for the first three or four rounds as well. Oh, Daniel Way's throwing some haymakers here. This uh, is exactly what he wanted. Yeah, this is the pivotal moment of this fight. He has to defend this takedown, separate. He's doing that so far. Separate and then keep throwing those bombs. Daniel Way doing a good job of defending this takedown with Saliba in there. And this one thing Saliba's doing, he's way good. down the Good, much better Daniel done. Way, much better. As it gets a greater force in the crowd. Again, throwing that jab out. Can't throw the jab off the back foot. Oh! Spinning elbow attempt, missing it all together. Saliba coming back with an overhand right of his own. Saliba's now starting to look a lot more tired as all the work from the takedowns and groundwork that he's put in over these previous four rounds of Sun Show. Spinning back, Saliba. just clipping the chin of Daniel Way, but no gusto behind it. Daniel Way's got a window here. He legitimately has he a chance to still win this fight. He's controlling this round so far. His footwork's fantastic. He's cutting his angles. Nice, no, chopped to the leg. He's starting to land a few that he hasn't landed in the first four Zane rounds. Zane is definitely tired. He's heavy on his feet. He's not, no head movement at all anymore. He's circling into Daniel Way's left hook, which is a really good, powerful punch for him. He's a big chance. He's got to keep that distance. Good jab. You know, for our folks at home and everyone down here at the Melbourne Pavilion, including us on the commentary team, you just got to show the appreciation. These guys are close to going 25 minutes in the cage. A momentous effort, just a true attrition to how fit these guys are. Oh, he's going to big innings up there once again. Daniel Way, can he defend? Great defend as Saliba spent all these bickies. No, he oh, hasn't. He gets the takedown. Big takedown, Zane Saliba. Amazing takedown. Is this the fight now for, is Daniel Wade done? Can he get back to his feet? Does he have enough time to get back to his feet? He's got plenty of time. He's just got to pull the right moves now. He's got a very open half guard. Again, he's trying to roll to his side. 
exploit the hips out, but at the moment Zane's control is just, just far superior. Josh and Matty person if you're in Zane's uh, position, you know you're probably up on the scorecards. Instead of maybe trying to work for position, which would be more contentious to hold Daniel down rather than... A little bit more, I, I definitely, I know no one would want to admit it, but you'd be a little bit more safe. You'd stay as busy as possible, but you'd want to keep that position and get through this and win a title. No, no, no doubt. Ever get into the full mount position, trying to rain down some elbows, get into that cut, that gash over the right eye of Daniel Way. Once again, Zane, dominant ground control, body's nice and oh, he's got full mount. I don't even see him slip that over, he's in full mount oh, and back, back control. Oh, very dangerous position for hooks Daniel in, Way. Both hooks in. He's going to try and roll Daniel Way over. Oh, he's going to flatten him out and open up some ground and pound. And Way looks like uh, might have broken his spirit this last takedown. This is the best stand-up round he's had arm of the whole triangle. fight. He's got the arm triangle now. This is his chance. Did this last time. Can you tap him, uh, referee Christian? Oh, in very, he's got very an arm close. triangle. The old telephone stands here trying to get his hand in. To he's defend his way. Daniel Way's in trouble. He's given the thumbs up though, Daniel Way. He is in trouble, but he he's gave the thumbs up. He's going to move to side control. You watch this. Zane Saliba will pivot, move to side control, and try to, and try to finish this arm triangle. Can he get over? Sheen he, asking he the question. He can get over if he wants to. He's he choosing not to get over right now. I think he's just, like I said, more content to hold it down and to kill the clock. He's definitely in the dominant position. Daniel Way is still good. He's given the thumbs up to him, referee Christian. Great, great fight here by Daniel Way. He's just holding on, and uh, you've got to give him credit because Saliba has dominated him for four and a half rounds, and he's surviving. Referee, just for our viewers at home, referee Christian grabbing the arm, the free arm of Daniel Way, the reason for that, just to make sure he's still all good. Showing signs that he's still there as we count down in the final five seconds. seconds for this go. championship middleweight title oh, Zane, as they finish with a flurry. And that's the exact That is the end of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Daniel Way really upset. The grass off of Daniel Very Way. The coach, Zane Saliba. Well, unfortunately, Zane Saliba did it perfectly. It should be a well-deserved middleweight championship. Once again, five rounds of action. 25 minutes these guys have just gone. You've got to show the appreciation for them oh, yeah, and their respect. A wheel too. Oh, <laughs> he's pretty happy with himself. <laughs> he might have just thrown his shoulder out. Well, uh, I've seen some interesting celebrations over the years. That is uh, no, a bit unique. Maybe the backflip, that would have been nice. With full credit to Daniel Waite, it would have been easy to give up in that fight, but he hung in there. You know, he had a chance in that last round. Daniel, uh, you know, look, be disappointed, but don't be disillusioned. You're still a very young man. You're still so early in your career. You've been taking on nothing but A and world-class guys. Don't be disappointed with, you know, some of these losses that you've had, don't be disappointed with it because you are only improving to getting better every time. Zane Saliba is a very seasoned fighter. He's already proven by fighting on the world stage. If a guy's trying to get back there before his time is done, he needed, he would be so desperate to get a solid victory over Daniel Waite, saying take home his AFC middleweight title. All right, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. Our three judges score the contest. 50-45, 50-45, 49-46. Declaring a winner via unanimous points and new AFC middleweight champion, red corner, the coach, Zane Saliba. No surprise there, terrific win by Zayn Saliba and really going to ignite, reignite his career to see if he can get back to the absolute top. Zayn Saliba, our new AFC middleweight champion, make some noise, Melbourne! We saw him in the UFC Fighters House Australia versus Canada Zayn about 18 months ago. And no doubt you've come back bigger and better. You're physically stronger and your stand-up as well has, it looks like they've got another level. Congratulations, you are the new AFC middleweight champion. You must be wrapped. Yeah, definitely wrapped too long. To get the belt and show that all the hard work paid off. Unfortunately, as uh, always, too much grappling for the crowd. I know they want to stand and bang. And uh, thanks very much for having us, boys. I really appreciate it. Well, the biggest shout out, of course, is to my fiance, soon to be wife. I love you, she's stopping the crowd in front of me. Been through thick and thin, guys. If you want to do yourself a favor, get the best training camp partner in the world, a good missus. She should point you through thick and thin, through tough times, good times. I want to shout out to all my guys, Ace Martial Arts, TP, Trekker, my brother, my family, my mum and my dad, looking for me. It's hard work getting to this weight for me, but I love being here and I uh, appreciate having a beer with the fans now. It's all done. And also, a big thank you to Daniel Way, true champion, true martial artist. He really deserves a lot of respect, guys. He's a true veteran of the game and one of the best there is in Australia. So give him a wrap, guys.
Azeem, you know what, you're, you're in your 30s as well. You missed out in the, uh, the UFC uh, uh, Australia versus Canada. Uh, and you, you, know, you see guys like Daniel Kelly and Vic Bruges, you got on the, uh, the UFC. No doubt that's still a big goal for you. Yeah, I'm definitely 10, 10, 10 years senior. I'm 26 this year, turning 27. But uh, that's right, I won't hold it against Joe. I already know one fight, can't do another, I'm too tired. But um, yeah, just, just keep pushing, see what happens, man. You know, just constantly improve. Already I'm seeing about a thousand holes I made in my game tonight. I haven't even seen footage, you know. So it's good to go back and just, as I tell everyone, doesn't matter whether you're in the UFC, AFC, any grassroots, as long as you're looking to improve yourself in any aspect of life, whether it's cage, business, family, relationships,